Working with these students has been has been great. It's been fun. You know, I treated them like clients. I didn't treat them like high school students. So they were going to get tough questions and you know thought provoking questions as far as how they wanted their brand to look. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong. So our Shark Tank competition um, will have both the juniors and seniors competing against each other. Um, essentially, they have a business plan that was created by Nifty uh, Curriculum Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship, and they will be competing on who has the best business plan. Throughout the year, students prepare um, learning the curriculum from beginning to end. So we've been covering the basis of all of these segments. There's nine segments in their business plan, which is a lean canvas. Um, they've been learning since September until, until May. So they've been preparing gradually for this event. Ms. Benchwick told me what was going on with her entrepreneurship class. And I was like, I have to get involved with this some way, shape, or form, just to kind of like pay it forward, um, especially hearing what these kids' stories and what they want to do. I felt that they needed a professionally designed logo. Michael just has a lot of work that's publicly known around the area um, from Bergen Real Estate to Penguin City Beer. Um, so it's kind of a no-brainer to bring in someone with that kind of expertise in here to work with the students. And furthermore, he is an educator, so he does understand the importance of that educational process, but also giving back. So he's a perfect fit for branding my students' businesses. The Underdog University, with my business idea, is um, to basically inspire young minds and teach them more about finance and lifestyle in order to create um, more businesses for other people and help out more people. Creating my logo was a long, difficult journey. Um, at first, I feel like I wasted a lot of money um, going to pay people um, to create, um, get creativity and logos, and I went through a lot of misconceptions um, going through my logo but then once I figured out what it was I wanted my logo like some color schemes that I was really trying to hit or um, just having a simplified logo that can be a household logo um, it became more easier once I made it clear what I wanted. Working with these students has been has been great it's been fun you know I treated them like clients I didn't treat them like high school students so they were gonna get tough questions and you know, thought-provoking questions as far as how they wanted their brand to look. This project is specified to um, African Americans, so I did want to get a brown color in there for our skin color. Um, and then I wanted some neutral colors as well, just to have a pop and bright color so that way when you think of my brand or my logo, you're not thinking dull or dark colors, you're thinking bright, positive thoughts. The name The Underdog University actually came from a song of mine by 50 Cent um, that I really love, one of my favorite songs um, as a child. And The Underdog also came from a commercial that I've seen where um, it was just saying that, you know, the people that work the hardest and that you would think um, aren't, you know, going to make it successfully, that sometimes they come out on top. And that's kind of what the song ties into, too. So kind of just wanted to um, help minorities, so I kind of, you know, say the minority is the underdog, but I want to help them get to the top. This experience has been great. You know, it's, it's helped me become a better designer, you know, a better consultant for brand, you know, for companies. So, you know, I got thrown some questions. I was like, wow, I never thought of that before. So it's like, you know, writing it down and, you know, it's like, okay, if that should come up with a, you know, a client or, you know, a business that I'm working with, I'll know how to answer it. I would have to say the Shark Tank competition teaches the students um, a variety of skill sets. A lot of it would be collaboration, so they had to work with each other throughout the year. They had to be communicative, so they had to work with each other, like I said, in those teamwork projects. Um, but to take initiative and to be self-reliant and to be future-oriented. So I think there's a lot of soft skills that entrepreneurship teaches the youth. We just don't directly think of those things. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.